Welcome to Fishing the Midwest on Ice. This show is devoted to taking you to some of the finest ice fishing destinations across the Midwest. In addition, we're going to show you some great ways to catch more fish this winter. On today's episode, we're in Clear Lake, Iowa. Bob Jensen is joined by Kevin Paul and Chris Shaw. They're chasing yellow bass in Clear Lake. Not only that, Clear Lake's a great place to visit. Let's get out on the ice with Bob and the guys and see what's going on. Clear Lake in North Central Iowa is perhaps the most versatile Four Seasons Lake in the Midwest. You can fish on Clear Lake year-round for all species of fish. There are no seasons, and there are a bunch of different species of fish willing to eat your bait. Clear Lake is an outstanding walleye lake. Muskies are as abundant as muskies get. There are crappies and catfish, big white bass, and you can catch all of these at any time of the year. But in the winter, yellow bass seem to steal the show, and for good reason. Clear Lake is absolutely full of them. Yellow bass can be caught by the dozens, and they're great on the table, absolutely outstanding. Yellow bass aren't big fish, a 10-incher is considered a nice one, but there are no limits on yellow bass on Clear Lake, so you can keep as many as you want for a fish fry. Kevin Paul and Chris Shaw are the founders of the Yellow Bass Bonanza on Clear Lake. We'll talk about that later. They also guide on Clear Lake, and when they're not guiding on Clear Lake, they're just out there fishing. When they invited me to join them for an afternoon of yellow bass catching on Clear Lake, it didn't take me long to say yes. And it didn't take long for the first yellow bass to hit the ice. Fish. Oh, not a bad eater either. Oh yeah. How big is that, Kevin? Uh, eight inch, eight and a half. Good eater. Now people, you know, a lot of people don't realize that they just don't grow that big, you know. Yep. State record's only 13 and a half inches that just got broke this year. Is that right? And uh, Master Angler's 10 inches, so eight and a half fish, nice adult, good eater. Right now I'm uh, hole hopping quite a bit. Mobility is basically the key to success. And once we uh, drop down like I have now, I just jig it for about 30, 40, 50 seconds, and if I don't see one right away, it's time to move. Yellow bass, are, they really school up and they stay in tight pods out here and then they roam around. So, uh, you know, once you find them, you're going to be on them. But if you're not on them, obviously, you're not going to get them. So instead of waiting around, waiting for them, we, we move on to the next step and try to find them. When we move to a new hole, the idea is to get the fish's attention. This is how we're working the bait. Aggressively jigging until we see a fish in the depth finder, then we slow it down and let them eat. Yellow bass are fun, and the yellow bass action in Clear Lake can be fast. Listen to this. Yellow bass are kind of a fun fish to catch. I mean, once you get on, you know, large numbers can happen, and uh, very good eating fish. Um, the biggest thing is, man, once they get going and you really, really get on them, our record is 721 fish, five guys, five hours. So if that tells you anything, I mean, they can happen in a hurry. Like yesterday, they caught around, here's one, they caught a bucket full of fish yesterday and they only fished an hour, so. Yellow bass are such a distinctive appearing fish. Look at the markings in this guy. They fight good, don't they, Bob? They do, they do, yeah. I mean, oh. for their size, absolutely. I got a bunch and of them down there again. Boy, when they show up, they just come in and zap Yeah, they're a bunch of them down there right now. You'll catch lots of smaller yellows, but there's a good year class in Clear Lake right now of larger than average yellows. The thing is, when you find a school of them, the action is nonstop. There's one. All right. There are a lot of them down there right now. Walleyes like these guys too, don't they? I got one too. Oh yeah, this is their main forage here at yeah. Clear Lake, pretty much. So Kevin, how long will you sit in a hole? Just long enough to notice that they're gone. You know, once they once they moved out, it's uh, it's time for us to move out too. So when you walk up to a hole, you know, when you're dropped the first couple times, how long will you stay at that hole? If you, you know, I'm pretty impatient, and I probably don't stay quite long enough. I mean, a minute or so is good enough for me. Is it? Yeah. Fishing the Midwest on ice is presented by Vexilar. Own the ice. 
Northland Fishing Tackle, made by fishermen for fishermen. Big Stone Lake Tourism, the Midwest's new winter hotspot. Impulse, excite the bite with scent, color, and action. Proven to be 143% more effective than the leading brand. Fish on! Come on, get together. <laughs> <laughs> boat ride on the water, a concert in the shadow of legends, a day of fishing in one of the premier fisheries in the Midwest. These are just a few of the wonderful attractions Clear Lake has to offer. Nestled in northern Iowa, Clear Lake is known for its beautiful scenic landscapes, top-rated beaches, and yearly events. From the annual winter dance party to the blockbuster 4th of July celebration, Clear Lake has something for everyone. Stay at the shore and explore. Proving yet again that the best never rest, Otter introduces Otter Thermal Tech, the proprietary full thermal shelf found on every 2015 Otter Shelter. Beginning with the all-new XTH Hub Shelters and the all-new lightweight one-man XT Hideout, on up to the ever-popular XT and XT Pro Series Shelters that have earned a near-legendary reputation for unmatched toughness and durability. At Otter, we know stopping at good enough is way overrated. This ice season, see for yourself how the best just keep getting better. Impulse soft baits have dominated our bass fishing for years. And they're a big part of our panfish and walleye fishing. When the fish are aggressive, soft baits are the best choice, producing awesome fish attracting action. And you can catch several fish on one bait. That means more time spent catching and less time rebaiting. Northland's Impulse, a step above other soft baits with their secret scent that triggers fish to bite and hold on longer. Meaning we feel more bites and set more hooks. Still seeing them, Kevin? Oh yeah, we had three of them done right now. Is that right? Oh. Little guy. Ah. Just beautiful fish. Gotta love the colors too, man. Yeah, aren't they vivid? Yeah. Isn't that color vivid? Kevin had this to say about lure color for yellow bass. Years past, we noticed it more. This year, the, the shark trues, the lime green stuff, that stuff's been our, our pretty much our go-to colors for the for the yellows. Um, there's days though you'll find like blue and white, you know, or orange and white are really good. So it doesn't hurt to have a few colors, but the main thing is finding the fish. Once you yep. find the fish, it don't really matter what color you got, as far as I'm concerned. We all have our favorite baits, but baits made from tungsten have really been catching on. Tungsten baits are heavier than a similar sized lead bait, so they sink faster, which gets them into the fish zone quicker. Today I'm using Northland's Tungsten Banana Bug. It's a hot bait for panfish of all types, but Northland makes a wide variety of tungsten baits. If you want heavy but small, Northland makes it. Christy, I have a favorite weather condition for yellow bass. I mean, bright skies, cloudy, do you have a preference? Cloudy, they go all day. Do they really? You know, bright days, you know, sunrise, sunset. Look how nicely marked they are, aren't they? Isn't that something? Sonar is such an important tool for any type of ice fishing. Look at this shot of our Vexilar in action. That green, yellow line is a tiny 132nd ounce jig. The orange mark is a yellow bass taking a look at it. If you don't see fish in the sonar, you need to find a different hole to fish. Keep moving until the sonar reveals fish. They like that old jig you got on there. They're liking that, yeah. What color you got on? It is all that uh, lime color. Yeah. Green, you know. The 
fishing in Clear Lake is really good through the ice, but there's so much more to do in Clear Lake in the winter. In February, there's the Winter Dance Party at the Historic Surf Ballroom. This is where Buddy Holly and Richie Valens and the Big Bopper made their last appearance on planet Earth. The Winter Dance Party is a big deal. And there's the Festival of Kites. This is a day when the sky is alive with color at Clear Lake. So much to do for so many. And so many yellow bass to catch for anglers of all skill levels. Fish on. Oh boy. Yeah. They're definitely stacked up. They're gonna double team a hole. This is kind of a technique we use. So when you get a hot hole, one guy, when you got one man down, you invite your buddy over to fish the same hole and then when one person pulls one out, the next guy drops in and you can just keep the fish active. That's, that's the key. If you don't uh, leave your bait down there, they'll just uh, take off on you. So. Fishing the Midwest on ice is presented by the Clear Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. Stay at the shore and explore North Iowa. Ice Castle. You can camp in an ice castle, but you can't fish in a camper. Cabela's. It's in our nature. Big Stone Lake on the Minnesota-South Dakota border has a booming jumbo perch population that has turned into one of the Midwest's top winter perch fishing destinations. Come for the perch, but don't forget the lake's numerous walleyes, big bluegills, and slab crappies. In addition to the fishing, the area offers a top bait shop, fish house rentals, great lodging, and fine dining as well. Come to Big Stone for a winter fishing trip, and you'll like the area so much that you might just decide to make it your next home or at least your home away from home. All right, Grant, you're in front, so stay low. Gus, keep those shoulder pads square. Marcus, eyes on the prize. And Joe, remember to smile. Now take your position. With nearly 80 years in professional photography, LifeTouch knows what it takes to get the most out of your players. Okay, just in just a little bit. All right, good. Oh, remember, there's no eye in team picture. <laughs> Life Touch, photography for a lifetime. For world-class fishing, Lake Winnebagashish in North Central Minnesota is the best. And for world-class lodging in Winnie, McCardles Resort is the place to stay. McCardles is a resort for all seasons. The walleye fishing is outstanding spring, summer, and fall for eaters and trophies, and the perch always bite in Winnie. Northern Pike, Winnie just can't be beat. And the crew at McCardles are the best at putting you in the fish and taking care of your needs when you're not in the water. For a group of anglers or for your family, catch a winner at McCardle's Resort on Lake Winnebagashish. We stress quality, we stress affordability. When people walk in, they, call, they say they look like a cabin on wheels. Made in the Midwest, for people in the Midwest. While Kevin and I were fishing in an area that had been hot on the previous day, Chris was out searching for a new area. By the time we caught up with him, he had a pretty good pile of yellows going. With these yellow bass, I mean, is there a, a, a better season through the ice? Do they go from ice in to ice out? Typically, uh, most of the ice season is always really good. And uh, after ice out, you can find different patterns where you can get them uh, right when they spawn. You know, but I mean, light water. ice? Do they go right to light ice? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, as long as you can get out here and find them, you're going to catch them. They, they always bite. Yellow bass are the kind of guys they just like to get caught, don't they? They do. Yeah. They get one. on them. And these are the kind of fish that, you know, these are made for us to take home with them, aren't they? They're definitely a harvest fish. Yep, yep. And they're, and they're wonderful. They're great to eat. Very, yeah, very good to eat. White, flaky meat. Yeah. I mentioned the yellow bass bonanza that Kevin and Chris produce. This event is very popular. Last year, teams from 10 states participated. There were about 250 teams. This year, the yellow bass bonanza is on Valentine's Day weekend. There's a very nice meeting Saturday night at the surf with lots of ice fishing stuff on display. Lots of fishing talk, just a great time. The next day, the competition takes place. Very exciting for everyone. From the blast off to the fishing to the weigh-in, check out the Yellow Bass Bonanza on the internet or in person, and check out this larger than yellow bass action. 
This is like the biggest yellow bass in the lake. <laughs> Could be. <Yeah. laughs> is that right? What else do you catch? Walleyes out here, catfish. Yeah. What are you guessing? Way of pumping its head, probably a catfish. Good luck. Yeah. Was it a big mark on the screen? Did he just zoom in or did he look at it? Well, I, you know, the yellow's kind of screwed it off. kind of fun part about fishing the basin, you just never know what you're going to catch, you Yep, know? yep. Well, yeah, Clear Lake is like two different bodies of water, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Big lake, little lake, little lake's got lots of structure. Whoa. Boom. Look at that guy. <laughs> isn't that something? Two-pound test. Whoa, well, was it really? Yeah. No kidding. Woo! Jeepers. <laughs> Good job, Chris. Look at that. Nice one. Huh. And I tell you what, Catfish is great eating this time of year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What fun that was. And just a few minutes later, this guy came along. No, I'm tangled up now. Oh, what happened there? You got tangled. Oh, jeez. Look at that. Beautiful crappie. How big is that one, Kevin? A nice 10 incher. Is he really? Yeah. A lot of them that size here? There is, yeah, that's They're just really? a good average size. Yep. Smoke the old plastic. Look at that. Another one of those musky ones, see that? Right in the back, too. He got chomped by a musky, too. Did he really? Big old scar right on his bottom. Uh -huh. We're just going to release the crappies today, right, Bob? Yeah. Okay. We keep yellow bass, right? Yep. There was a short break in the action. I had a question for Chris. Chris, how long have you been fishing Clear Lake? Oh, probably uh, 35 years. Have you really? It's changed a lot in those 35 years. Oh, in what ways? Um, I mean, it used to be strictly a trolling crankbaits for walleyes, and if you used live bait, it was a bullhead thing. Yep, you know? because there were a lot of bullheads in the lake. Yeah, absolutely. And there aren't as many anymore. No, I mean, you, you're able to fish night crawlers and leeches now just like any Northern Minnesota Lake. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a number of, well, just a few years ago, they, they weren't a small part of the lake here now. Uh, it was a four foot basin. I mean, just four foot out there. Yeah. And they dredged it. It's a lot different now. Yeah, you got your up and downs, your reefs, um, holes that are 28. 28 feet deep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it creates a different dynamic. And uh, now the crappies, have they always been here and nobody fished them? Or is it, what's changing there? Because we're catching a lot of crappies, there are some big ones. Right, I mean, they've been here, but it's been, you know, the spawning habitat wasn't as great as it is now with the weeds. And uh, now you can actually come out here and you have your structures where they hold up into the holes. And and that's because of an improvement of the water quality. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. isn't that something? I mean, Clear Lake, I get to go a lot of places and Clear Lake has a, Wide variety. The musky fishing is tremendous. Oh yeah, it's yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. There's a wide variety of fish and the opportunity for some quality fish as well. Yeah. And then this guy came along. Cat or white? Big white. Only 18 inches, really? That would have took a big fish. Yeah. <laughs> that is a big white bass. You get a lot of those? There's quite a few like this, but not, not this, that size. This is a big one. That's yeah. a big one. Yeah, that's, that's pretty. Wow. Two and a half. Yeah. Big white bass. You just never know what you're going to catch on Clear Lake through the ice or in open water, and that's fun. That's a decent one, isn't it, Kevin? Not bad. Look what he did to that jig. There's been a few round suspended ones. You ate that, Kevin? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh boy, look at that. Huh. Now, what do you do different out here, Kevin? I mean, we're catching crappies and white bass and yellow bass. Do you do anything to target the crappies? Or the yellow bass, or, or the yellow bass, white bass, whatever? 
Well, you know, each each fish is a little bit different to target. You know, the, like we were talking earlier, those yellow bass will find in the in the basin. Crappies will find out in this deep water, and they just suspend out here. So, rely on your flasher to find the suspended fish, and once you get on top of them, uh, yep. you know, go ahead and fish them. But uh, I don't know if we talked about this yet, but something we need to think about when you're running flashers and you see these crappies, everybody will drop it to the fish. That's an absolute no-no. You'll always stop two to three feet short, fish up here when the fish is down here, make him come up and commit. Because once he commits to coming to you, he's going to bite now because he's already left his home. So if you drop it on his head, he doesn't have to eat it, you know what I mean? So. Sure. That's, that's the biggest thing, is just fish above the crowd and, and pick them off one at a time. So. And out here on Clear Lake, I mean, the lake is so versatile that, I mean, whatever you do, you're gonna get bit. You know what I mean? We can target crappies, we'll catch them. We're also gonna get the yellow bass and the white bass and the walleyes and, and all the other stuff too. Fishing the Midwest on ice is presented by McArdle's Resort the premier all-season resort on Lake Winnebagoshish. Rig Wrap, the world's best fishing rig storage solution. Otter, tougher, stronger, smarter. Dave Gens here with the amazing FLX28, a winter fishing sonar system that is changing the way we all ice fish. With digital depth, auto ranging, and five color display options, all packed into one amazing unit, the FLX28. Be sure to check out the entire family of Vexilar, the most reliable sonar system technology on the ice today. Vexilar sets the standards for quality, reliability, and performance. I won't go fishing without my Vexilar. To learn more, go to vexilar.com. Impulse soft baits have dominated our bass fishing for years. And they're a big part of our panfish and walleye fishing. When the fish are aggressive, soft baits are the best choice, producing awesome fish attracting action. And you can catch several fish on one bait. That means more time spent catching and less time rebaiting. Northland's Impulse, a step above other soft baits with their secret scent that triggers fish to bite and hold on longer. Meaning we feel more bites and set more hooks. Okay, so you've got two kids with a shared total of 17 birthdays, 12 trips to the zoo, 128 visits from grandma and grandpa, 204 t-ball games, and though a picture is worth a thousand words, how many can you hold in your own two hands? Zero. Why? Because your pictures are being held hostage on your camera or a hard drive or that ubiquitous digital cloud. Well, I've got three words for you. Print to preserve. You'll be glad you did. Life Touch. Photography for a lifetime. Fish on! Come on, get together. Our headquarters for this trip was the Best Western in Clear Lake, just a couple of minutes from the lake. There's a Bennigan's restaurant attached, that's convenient. We had a couple of hours the next morning, Chris couldn't be with us, but Kevin had one more thing he wanted to show us about Clear Lake ice fishing, the shallow water bite. We moved into water just a couple of feet deep, drilled some holes, let the area settle down a bit, bluegill. What's that? Oh, look at that, Bob. Oh, look at there, Blue, another species. And a healthy one too, isn't it? Beautiful fish, yep. yeah. Yep. Kind of made a new, new change here. We uh, decided that those deeper fish weren't biting, so I took uh, took us to a little secret area here up shallow. It's about 20 to 25 inches of water in the weeds and catching bluegills, and hopefully we can pick up a few crappies in yep. here too, Bob. No kidding. And then a school of crappies came through. Look at there. Did he hit it hard, Kevin? He did. That crappie yep. really hit it good, yep. yep. Inhaled it. Good to see. Another year class, not a giant, but. Oh, those year classes are good to see. Yep. They look such, they are so nicely marked, all these fish. Let's see what we got. What do you want to do? There's one. Whoa. 
Look at that one. Nice. I'm gonna and throw he hit pretty back. hard right? too. He hit pretty hard too. That's a better one. Good job, Bob. Crappies yeah. just moved in. You know, we are not very deep. Not using a depth finder because it wouldn't do us any good here, would it? No. I mean, we're really fishing six to eight inches under the ice right now. Yes. You know what, out there in that deeper water, we can see lots of fish, but they just didn't want to get caught. What, we're six inches off the bottom? Yeah, roughly it's probably about 18 inches from the bottom of the ice to the bottom of the lake. Um, there's some weeds down there, some bulrushes, and uh, these fish are just roaming around down there, so coming through every once in a while. And, and the main thing is, without uh, flashers or not being able to sight fish because of the snow cover, we just need to drop it to the bottom, pull it up about six inches, and just let it hover right there. And, and, and when it, you set the hook, they're through the hole. Yeah, that's something too. When you're in shallow water, when you set the hook, you gotta be real careful to just ease them up out. There's no reeling involved. Just set the hook and just pull up nice and easy and get them up out of there, so. Oh. There we go. Look at that. Nice, beautiful little crappie there. Kevin, you know, we've been out here, oh, you know, a few hours, and you said the bite is not that good, but I mean, we've caught a ton of fish, not always big fish, but just lots of fish, lots of variety. I'm guessing that ice fishing or open water, Clear Lake is pretty is a pretty good place to come for a beginner or somebody who just likes to catch fish. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of fish in the lake, and I think they can be caught a lot of different ways. It'd rather, if you just want to sit on the on the grade at the on the west end there and just sit, throw a bobber and a minnow out, or if you want to come out and ice fish and, and do something like this, I think anybody can probably get into some fish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's always something biting. There is. You know, the yellow bass are probably the the main species that anybody can get, but. Uh, you know, with the crappies and the, the white bass, the walleye, there's just so many options out there for people to, to try. Yeah, yeah. And then it was time to go home. Hey, Kevin and Chris both guide on Clear Lake. Kevin full time, Chris when he gets time. You can arrange a trip through Kevin's website. They do day or half day trips. And this year, Kevin has an ice castle fully rigged with all the comforts for overnight trips. Now there's a good time. Those ice castles are such high quality products and they make ice fishing even more fun for everyone. And Clear Lake is also a good time, actually a great time. Winter, spring, summer, and fall, you can fish all species of fish all year long. There's lots to do around town if you want a break in the fishing. If you haven't already discovered Clear Lake in north central Iowa, just off Interstate 35, now is the time to do so. Maybe we'll see you there. Man, the guys had some fun on the ice in Clear Lake, and that's a neat place to visit as well. Hey, for all of us at Fishing the Midwest, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again next time, and remember, include a youngster in your next outdoor adventure.